Welcome to this week's episode of the African Agri Overview. In this episode, our spotlight is on Zimbabwe, where Jock will discuss the impact of a possible reduced maize crop for this coming season. So make sure to stay tuned for this comprehensive exploration of Zimbabwe's maize production landscape. Hello, Dr. Johnny van der Marwee, and a warm welcome to another episode of the African Agri Overview, thanks to the support of Zematic Irrigation Systems. Zematic's pivots and lateral move systems are truly cutting edge, combining top notch components, exclusive designs, and innovative features for a reliable, long lasting agri solution. Before we dive into the economic roundup, I recommend reaching out to our expert market analyst, Jock Pinar for detailed insights into the African soft commodity markets. He's your go-to guy for the inside scoop. Now let's shift gears and take a look at what's been unfolding in the economy over the past week. Starting with our usual oil price check, which dropped significantly over the past week and is currently trading at $78 per barrel. The conflict in the Red Sea area has diminished uh, somewhat due to the ceasefire providing more certainty about, uh, about supply from this region. The expectation that interest rates in America may stay higher for longer and lower economic growth figures that came out of China both continue to put pressure on the oil price at the moment. But with that said, Jock will now dive deeper into the grain markets of Africa. Thanks, Johnny, and welcome to our viewers. In this week's podcast, we revisit the Zimbabwe maize market. We have picked up some concerns in the market regarding the potential size of the crop to harvest mid-2024. This prompted some analysis from our side. Before we continue, take note, Zimbabwe is a rather challenging market to analyze with very little accurate statistics available. Regular inflated government crop forecast, frequent government involvement in the maize market, and a two-tier currency system. It is important to note the two-tier currency system in Zimbabwe, a government-determined rate and the black market rate, is causing a shortage of forex, which complicates imports and in general see import volumes fall short of the actual import need. Enough on the currency, let's do some analyzing. This graph shows the Zimbabwe maize balance sheet for the last five years and the forecast for 2023-24. Zimbabwe has been a net importer of maize for many years and the last five years were no different, with average annual imports of around 600,000 tons. We estimate production for the 2023-24 marketing year running from more or less May 2023 to April 2024, around 1.4 million tons. We estimate imports at 600,000 tons and consumption at around 2 million tons. It is too early to make an informed guess on the potential size of the crop to harvest mid-2024, i.e. the crop for the 2024-25 marketing year. However, the rainy season was six weeks late and only started towards the end of December. Good rains were reported until the second half of January, but the last two weeks have been drier. Growing conditions still fair, but will need rain soon. Outlook for the next week also relatively dry. Talk the late season could see planting down 20% on the previous year. As indicated in our introduction, we are detecting some concern in the market regarding the potential size of the new crop. It is still early days, but we have heard a few opinions indicating favorable rainfall. Next two to three months will be needed to reach a 1 million ton crop. This could leave Zimbabwe with a shortfall close to a million tons for the 2024-25 marketing year. The El Nino weather pattern is expected to be active until mid-2024 and could impact yields negatively. One guess South Africa will be the main import source once again, but Zambia could also be an option. Usually a shortage of forex impedes the Zimbabwe import campaign and 2024-25 expected to be no different. For such a large import campaign, logistical hurdles could also play a part. 
The next graph shows price history of Zimbabwe maize since January 2020. During this period, South Africa was the main import origin. We have therefore included South African import parity Arari on the graph, the yellow line. The blue circles on the graph indicate when Zimbabwe imported South African maize and local prices were typically then forced to import parity. What does catch the eye is how low Zimbabwe prices traded between May 2021 and June 2022 and the large discount fetched compared to import parity. A large crop was harvested during this period and the GMB government procurement arm was the only allowed buyer and supplier of maize in the country. They subsidized their selling price to millers. See the red circle. The most recent import campaign commenced October last year and should continue until late May, early June. The market guess around 10,000 tons is imported from South Africa weekly at this stage. The Rari price is trading in line with South African import parity, as one would expect, currently around $330 to $340 a ton. Zimbabwe prices should follow import parity from South Africa for the next three months. The question is, what prices could do once the new crop harvest commence in June? During the 2022 and 2023 harvest campaigns, prices traded around the $300 per ton mark, where farmers broke even. Those two crops were marginally bigger than current guesswork for the next crop. So, prices could find support around the $300 per ton level, June to August, if government, if government do not interfere. Next week, we will look at the Zambia maize market. Zambia could be a significant supplier into the region this coming season. Remember, quality information improves decision making. Contact us for more detailed, tailored information. A big thanks to Jock for shedding light on these critical issues. Huge shout out to our sponsor, Zematic Irrigation Systems, for making these videos possible. If you are hungry for more in-depth details and comprehensive reports on Sub-Saharan African soft commodity markets, definitely connect with Jacques Pinar. I'm Dr. Johnny van der Merwe and thank you for watching.